Try to get that all-star break started early, but y'all on the same ride back home, I'm guessing, right? Yeah. Yep. yep. So that was a chaotic game. You know, tensions, deficit, all that. How did you just you not I'm not talking about the team. Let's talk about you first. Like how did you kind of take and, and be poised and you know keep this team going? There up was to just finish? yeah, there was a lot of emotions, obviously. Uh you know, both teams right before the break, trying to get a win, uh, got a little chippy, and uh, you know we just we brought it in in the timeout. We had I think nine and a half minutes left, uh, and I thought the guys did a great job just being locked in and focused uh, defensively first, their mindset, trying to get stops, and then limiting them to one shot. And then offensively, I thought they did a great job of just getting organized early in the clock and getting to a trigger so we could get them in rotations. Now, T. Lou's never been ejected since you've been here. <laughs> I mean, you would know because you're the next guy up. Like, for him to get ejected, like, what did he tell you before he walked out? Because obviously we, he had a lot to say after y'all finished this thing off. Yeah, I mean, you know, again, there was a lot of emotions and um, just some frustrations. But, you know, we, we got T's back. And... Uh, I think I don't think he's ever been thrown out of a game, not just you know with the Clippers. So um, again, it was a collective effort, I think, just team-wise, and I thought the guys really rallied around each other and really just wanted to get this win. After the trip, you guys went six for one. You came back. Now you're two and two. How important was it to get the momentum back after that stone road trip? Uh, I think just you know just trying to get back to cleaning some things up. Uh, you know, both sides of the ball, offensively and defensively. Ty's been doing a great job just communicating with the, the guys in terms of what we need to do um, offensively and defensively, offensively trying to get to second situations and, and, um, and make sure we're, we're getting to our next action. And then defensively, just trying to really have that defensive mindset, um, you know, going into games and, and just collectively for 48 minutes. Coach, it felt like you guys actually had a little bit of momentum before Ty in the whole Plumlee situation. How were you able to get the guys regrouped after that to be able to sustain that? Because it felt like that could have been a turning point. I think, again, I mean, we, we had that one time out. You could just see it on the guys' faces. They were focused. They wanted to get this game. And I think they were just locked into executing, um, you know, in timeouts, offensively, making sure we got organized. And defensively, I thought that's where the game changed. We really turned it up and uh, got into them and, um, and then limited them to one shot as much as possible. Thanks, guys.